All right, so today I am fishing on my kayak for the first time this year. Also, I'm not using normal bass fishing gear like I've always do. I'm using my fly rod only. I haven't used this thing in a very long time. So I'm excited to break it out for the first time in 2018 and hopefully catch some nice crappies, perch, bluegills, and maybe even some bass. But the main goal for today is to catch a nice big crappie. The bait I'm starting off with, or I guess I should say the fly, it's a small woolly bugger type thing. I haven't used a fly rod in like a very long time, so we'll see how I cast. Most never fly fish out of a kayak before, so a little bit different. Oh, there's a fish on there. First cast. What is this? It's a crappie. Whoa, first cast with my fly rod and I caught a little baby crappie. Wow. That was like a really bad cast as well. I was willing to get my line out on that one. Okay. Baby guy, one of the smallest crappie I've ever seen out of here actually. So, goodbye buddy. This is a good type of place to learn how to fly fish better because there's way too many crappies in here. They're so easy to catch. As you can obviously see, I just caught one of my first cast with a very short cast. Another fish. Two casts in a row. Feels small again. A little bit better than the last one. Still pretty small. Oh, this is a different species. Looks like a bluegill to me. All right. Second fish. Decent sized bluegill. I don't uh, I don't catch bluegill too often, just for fun. So it's pretty cool. Oops. Sorry, buddy. better cast but it was kind of behind me there you go I'm on oh feels like another small fish it's underneath the boat it feels, actually feels a little bit bigger than the other ones Let's see what it is oh a little bit bigger but crappie oh my my line is stuck in my guides here there we go It's a bit of a better fish. Not a slab, but oh, definitely a better fish. That was three fish on four casts. See you later. There we go. It's a good fish. Oh, that's a nice, nice uh, crappie. Nice. That's a, that's a slab, I think. Look how dark this fish is. Wow. That's, I don't know if that's a, necessarily a slab, but that's a pretty good sized crappie right there. Look how we ate it, right? Right on top of the mouth. That's pretty awesome. And the fly rod too. Got a lot of fly fishing on on little fish because even the smaller fish pull up a good fight. All right, look how dark that one is. It's pretty awesome. Let's let him go. Thank you. There we go. Fish. It was small again. It was right, there's a fallen tree right in front of me and I cast it over there and I got this fish. It's actually a good spot for uh, when I came out here last time with my bass rods. We caught a ton of crappie. And I caught a really big bass over there in that corner. 
If you haven't seen that video, check it out after this one. I'll leave a link to it in the video description if you want to go check it out. There we go. What's this? Is this a bass? Let's see it. Oh, it's a... Whoa, what is that thing? That is the darkest colored crappie I've ever seen. The thing's not even like white at all, it's black. That is interesting. I think this is cause like they spawn or something, I don't, I don't know. But I don't think they turn this color most of the time of the year. Things just like for a couple weeks out of the year. All right, look how black that crappie is. That is very unique. Look at that lily pads. They are starting to grow now. Anyways, see you later, buddy. There we go. What is it? Very small. It's a, another bluegill. Even smaller than the first one. Bet you a big bass would eat you if you wanted to. So I switched up to this white fly, trying to catch a bass, but I didn't catch anything on it. So I'm gonna switch back to a woolly bugger. I was using this green one before, so I think I'm gonna switch up to this one with some orange on there. And uh, we'll see if it still works. One of my main goals for 2018 for fishing is to catch a natural trout in a river with my fly rod. And I really wanna learn how to fly fish better. So that's why I'm out here casting around. Hopefully in the next month or so, I get up to a river with some trout or salmon and hopefully complete my goal. I'm getting pretty good at casting. Like that was really close to that little stick up over there and I'm probably a good 40 feet away. I did get a few tangles today, but haven't tangled up anything too bad yet. There we go. Nice, as I was talking, I caught a fish. The question is, is it gonna stay on? It feels small, but, oh, it's a bluegill. Nice. Bluegill seem to be fighting harder than the crappies, but they don't grow as big as the crappies, I don't think. All right. Look at that one. That one has like orange on there. It's pretty cool. I'll switch it to a different color as you saw earlier. Um, and maybe it works like the other one I tried earlier in the morning or earlier in the day. See you later. Jeez. Dude, I was about three back on the water and you jumped back in the boat. What are you doing? There he goes. This one has some green and some orange on it. The other one is just completely green. So I mix it up a little bit and see what they like better. But I only, the only reason why I caught that fish, I think, is because I'm back in the spot where I caught fish earlier. No way. About to make a new cast. I mean, I was about to go to a new spot. I reeled up on my line and my reel, and this one just hit it right before I was about to pull it up out of the water. Wow. I'm not catching too many fish anymore, so even this little guy is pretty awesome to catch. These fish are so cool looking. Cut on this fly right here. Thank you for biting my fly. All right, even though there's fish here, I'm gonna go try that corner on the other side of the lake because the spot's getting kind of boring and I've caught fish here before, so let's move. I do think that's my dad pulling up right now with the, yeah, it is him, so I guess I have to go. I will make a few casts right near the dock though, maybe catch another fish, but 
We'll see what happens. Other than that, goodbye. If you haven't seen my last video, I fished here and I caught Actually, it's not my last video. It's two videos ago. I fished here. I catch a really big largemouth right over there in that corner of this lake on six pound line. So you should definitely check that video out. It's one of my favorite videos. One of the biggest fish I've ever caught. Also, you should definitely subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Hopefully catching some big old bass.